Rob Black at uh, Fulton High School. Well, it's been a busy summer. Uh, been real proud of our guys and how they've handled themselves uh, this summer. You know, our weight room attendance and off-season program has been really good, and been proud to see our guys uh, as we did our we did three or four maxes uh, since January, and to, to see our weight maxes go up tells me that our guys have been working really hard. Well, you know, summertime we didn't really set a lot of. A lot of goals. We just really, we really talked about working hard, and you know, coming off of a state championship, you you have a target on your back. Everybody's gunning for you, and you know, I want our guys to understand and realize that, and I think they they do, you know, and didn't want our guys to get complacent and feel like they had accomplished something because they did, but that was 2012, you know, and this is a whole new year, 2013. So, real proud of the way our guys have worked. Several of our older guys have been good leaders this year. Uh, number one, Penny Smith. He's our quarterback. And it's real important that he's a leader, and uh, and Penny has really done a good job at that. You know, he's trying to hold his teammates accountable and uh, encourage them and challenge them. And and Daryl Rollins and uh, Michael Skate, some of those guys have really done a good job of getting our young guys committed to the total program, and uh, I think that's going to pay off for us. Michael is a. Uh, uh, a very versatile player for us. I mean, we can play him at, at the guard position, which is where he starts offensively at left guard, but we can move him to tackle. Um, and then on defense, he can play nose guard, he can play defensive tackle, he plays defensive end. Just depends on who we're playing and what we're needing that week. And a lot of that's a tribute to him. I mean, he's a smart kid and he's able to learn the different schemes at the different positions. And I think that's going to help him future wise when he goes to college because guys get a chance to see him play a lot of different positions. You know, we've got a lot of returners. We return seven starters on offense, seven starters on defense. Um, a lot of our skill guys coming back, so we're uh, we're really experienced in skill, and even have some uh, some backup guys in skill positions that have played a lot. So we feel like we've got a lot of experience there. We did lose a couple of offensive linemen uh, that we have to replace. Uh, fortunately, last year we had uh, uh, two or three guys that were able to play a lot of snaps on our offensive line and gain some experience. So that's probably where we're lacking experience the most. Uh, but, but again, have still some experience there. So uh, a veteran group coming back in 2013. I'm fortunate to have a good staff, and you know we we, we are a bunch of guys that uh, obviously want to win every Friday night. But more importantly, we want to turn these young men into uh, men that themselves and um, uh, again we try to teach life lessons and we feel like the, the football field is as good a laboratory to teach those life lessons as anywhere so uh, you know everything we gear towards is uh, trying to teach these guys to grow up a little bit and, and understand what they're going to face in the future and prepare them for that so uh, just feel fortunate every day that I get the opportunity to do that.